Uh, my name's John Sweeney, and I'm a concept artist at Naughty Dog. Um, and I do mostly environment art. Sometimes I'll do uh, other things, but mostly environments. Uh, my inspiration behind the piece kind of came from, and what, well, what I try to do with all my pieces is bring something personal into it, because you know we always get a prompt or we always get some direction as to what it's what it's going to be or what they want painted for the game. Um, but I try and pull from, yeah, my personal experiences, things I've seen in life, things I'd like to see in a game that I've, you know, lived or something. Uh, so the setting was a mall, and growing up in the valley, like, malls were always around, so I wanted to try and, like, go back and reference some of the malls I grew up in and some of the aesthetics and whatnot, uh, and see if I could bring those into the game. So I actually went on a reference shoot, uh, and this is, I believe, in a in one of the department stores of the malls in the valley um, of like the section of the, the escalators where like all the makeup counters and stuff are and I always thought that you know malls at night or when the lights are off it's kind of like creepy so you'd get that fall off into the darkness which could be cool for gameplay or something um, uh, and the idea behind this piece, I guess, is that in the DLC where Ellie's protecting Joel is that she has sort of this last stand in the area where light's spilling out and you get kind of from the darkness amidst all the mannequins and clothing racks and everything, you get these people kind of coming out. You don't know where they're coming from, so I thought that might be cool for gameplay, you know, when, when thinking of the piece of like trying to get an idea of gameplay, an idea of mood, an idea of lighting, all in one. Uh, image to hopefully convey something to the rest of the team. Uh, well, The Last of Us and the DLC, uh, Last of Us Left Behind, are the only two games I've actually worked on. Uh, I think, f as far as favorite piece, was actually the piece that got picked last year, the Remembering piece, because that was kind of uh, the first piece when I was working there, and when I'd started, it was the first piece that uh, Neil Druckmann, the creative director, actually came by and kind of knocked on my desk and he's like, good job, <laughs> like, good good painting. And I was like, oh, wow, awesome. And it was sort of like an, a moment of being affirmed at the company, like for me, like knowing that I was doing a good job and everything. And, uh, I felt that, I, I felt that was one of my better pieces in terms of getting a, a story across, a mood, and kind of conveying something more than just, uh, you know, kind of props in an environment or something. Sure. Um, I always try and put something personal in one piece that's kind of for someone I know, or like family, friend, or even just myself. Um, this one, uh, I had to think of a brand for like the clothing, so I put my friend's name, uh, Charles Jones, who actually came here to see through with me, so it's kind of a thing that he can be like excited about when he sees this stuff and be like, oh crap, yeah. And maybe it makes it into the game, but uh, that was for this piece. I just I'm working on a piece now where I had to do a, a sort of a scene, and I, I used a cookie jar from my mom's house. So, and the the piece from last year was uh, I put a childhood stuffed animal in the room of the girl, like just those little Easter egg things, I guess that I do for fun. I think art's gonna get. Um, I think art's going to evolve in a way that makes it easier for the user to create what they see in their head. Um, I know I studied traditional stuff in school, like oil and gouache and pen and pencil and all that. And when I started using digital, I kind of had that realization that, oh, I can get a finished looking piece in a day as opposed to a week or a month or however long a traditional medium piece would take. So I think. Uh, and even now, starting to use more 3D. This piece doesn't have any 3D in it, but uh, a lot of concepts going forward are using things like Modo uh, or ZBrush or something like that to, you know, couple with Photoshop and, and different programs. So I think the more those programs become user-friendly, accessible, and just better, the easier it's going to be for people to create works uh, of art and images for games and, and anything really that they want. Because um, I know if I was going to paint this traditionally it would take a really long time and, uh, and it might not even turn out the same or it would be a, it would be a much longer road to get there. Um, so yeah, I think that the, the programs and the different mediums are going to play a big role in that. 
Favorite artistic game, I can't narrow down to one. Uh, I loved Journey. Uh, I thought Rise was had some spectacular lighting and color palettes. Uh, uh, I'm really proud of The Last of Us, obviously, and everything we're doing at Naughty Dog. Uh, but yeah, I think I think for me, the the two games recently that had the wow moments were like Journey, Rise, and then I still think Red Dead has some of the best lighting and in terms of what they did at the time with the open world and everything, it still stands. Uh, as like a really good-looking game, even with next-gen titles, I still think it looks good. Still play it, so yeah.